So here's basically our setup. We have the drop air pro unit here. And it's very basic actually. So we've got the three black wires. Those are coming directly from the fan. So we disconnect them from the board and we connect them directly the low, medium and high speed cables. We connect them to the uh, drop air unit. Next, we have basically the uh, live and neutral. So in our case, we can, uh, it's, of course it's uh, 220 volts. So we can connect it directly to uh, the power supply or we can use the junction box on the unit itself, which is right about there. We can see and we can just take two cables to feed the power. Now the cool thing about the unit is that to supply the Nest thermostat with 24 volts, we don't need the, uh, an adapter because it has a built-in adapter. So we feed it just with 240, and outside the uh, Ethernet cable, which goes to the Nest unit, uh, you get uh, the common uh, at uh, 24 volts. The other two cables going to the unit are basically the compressor uh, signal uh, cables. So uh, what we basically do is we disconnect the cable going to the compressor and on one end that's the board so one one um, one wire goes to the board and the other wire goes uh, to the uh, to the compressor unit itself so the uh, uh, the drop air can trigger the compressor on and off and that's basically it now we keep the original uh, wall control panel uh, just because you know if you have an error or if you have um, some kind of code coming up from the indoor unit uh, you can see it right here but you can keep it uh, above ceiling because uh, you know it no longer has uh, a function other uh, than that and a couple of other things but are very very uh, insignificant now the drop air as I mentioned has the connection here going directly to the uh, nest unit which I'm going to show you in a bit but uh, as you can see here I'm using Wago connectors because it just makes life uh, a bit easier. I know it's a mess now with the wires but we have everything labeled because I do believe that it makes life easier when you're uh, troubleshooting but for me just worked out of the box we just needed to figure out where to put everything and that was it here's the nest unit itself and if we go to equipment we can basically see that it correctly identifies uh, the three uh, fan modes uh, in addition to the cooling mode because mode and we don't have uh, heating on this unit so very straightforward and we can we can basically control everything from uh, from here uh, uh, and it works just like you know uh, comes factory so uh, overall I'm very very happy with uh, with uh, not just with the functionality but the fact that now we can basically control the uh, the different fan speeds as you can see here uh, you have low medium high and you can even put it on on auto uh, but uh, but yeah but uh, that's basically it very very cool product very easy to set up once you you know but you have to go you know two times and three times over the uh, installation guide just so uh, to make sure you don't miss anything and this is basically the setup that uh, I'm using. Uh, I forgot to mention that this is a carrier um, um, concealed AC unit. And as you can see here, you have your low, high, and medium fan uh, 
connections so you basically disconnect the, those cables from the board the indoor unit board and you connect them to the drop air um, controller and you supply neutral and live whether it's uh, from um, you know a separate outlet or from uh, the AC junction and you have the compressor uh, contacts and you that's basically um, uh, basically just putting the drop air between the board and the compressor uh, connection so you just cut it out from one side and um, you connect uh, drop air in the middle between uh, the existing connection and that's basically it so it's very straightforward this is basically uh, the connection diagram that I used on the Ethernet uh, cable between the um, the drop air unit and uh, the nest base. It's uh, very straightforward, but as you can see here, we're not using W1 because that's heat and we don't have heat on uh, at least our uh, model. Uh, but you have uh, basically uh, Y2 and uh, GW uh, or basically green white and uh, blue white uh, for um, the the second and third fan modes.